Hello, my name is Mrs Jameson. Welcome again to my kitchen classroom. Today we're learning about life cycles. Do you remember the story of the hungry caterpillar? That's the life cycle of how the caterpillar becomes a butterfly. It's the different stages of the animal's life. And remember yesterday you were learning about frogs. So today I'm going to show you how to draw the life cycle of a frog. The first stage, as you can see, I've drawn what's called the frog spawn or the eggs. I drew around a plate to make a circle, the life cycle, and I'm going to put the eggs up here. You need to draw a few little circles and just put a little dot in them. And the sound you can see, eggs, eggs. There's two g sounds there, eggs. Okay, there are eggs now. I've drawn my circle. I think of it like a circle because it's a bit like a, a cycle and that's like a bike wheel and that's why I draw it in a circle shape. Moving on to the next stage of my arrow going this way. The next stage of the life cycle is a tadpole. So let me see, he's got like a little curved head, a little dot for an eye and he comes down and he's got a little tail like that. And that's a tadpole. I'm not sure I spell it, I've got it there. T -a -d -t -a -d tadpole. There's my tadpole. So from the eggs, the frogs, when you develop the tadpole. I wonder what the next stage is. Let's see. Oh, it looks like my little friend, the tadpole, has grown legs. So let's see if I can draw it again. Don't forget me a little circle with a tail. Don't forget his eye. And I'm going to put some legs on him. I've only drawn two legs in there, but the tadpoles actually have four legs. And then I can write tadpole with legs. Tadpole with the oh, legs. L -e -g -s. And the final stage for the big reveal this is how the frog looks. Now he's a bit harder to draw, so just bear with me. You have to do the head first. That's a bit like bunny ears and half a circle. Then I've put two medium sized circles and to fill them in for the eyes. Then I've done two squiggly shapes, a bit like curves on either side. And two other squiggly shapes, look like S shapes. Then I've got another circle in for his tummy. And finally, a little smile, because he's happy. It's Frog Friday. And I'm going to sound out frog. And there is my life cycle of a frog. If you'd like to write some sentences afterwards, you could think about them starting in different ways. I thought I'm going to write, this is a frog. This is a frog. I. Finger space. I. Finger space. Ah. I forget to Fred talk frog, because Fred's a frog. This is a frog. And don't forget to put a full stop at the end. And you could, if you want, draw a little picture of your frog up there. Could be Freddy Frog. My other sentence I thought of, I might write, let's see what I thought. Oh, I'm going to write, it has legs. E it finger space oh no has is it is oh I could write it is green I'm gonna write has has is a tricky one ha it ha now legs legs is easy to fret so la e g s legs oh I'm gonna write and bigger eyes a finger space the e g eyes is a really tricky word so I just know that it's letter names, E-Y-E-S. Can't sell that one out. It has legs and big eyes. Again, you could draw a picture of your frog up there. 
Just read the map to make sure it's correct. It has legs and big eyes. Yeah, draw a nice big effect. Frog up there. Okay, hope you have fun drawing your life cycle of a frog and writing sentences. Bye for now.